Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to create widgets right within Commerce Composer without writing any type of JSP. And I'm going to be doing this with a new bookstore that I just created. And if we look at that bookstore now, it pretty much inherits from the Aurora look and feel. So it's got all of the Aurora collateral on the screen and I'm going to pretty much get rid of all this and create my own site from scratch. So what I want to do is I'm going to start off with the home page and I'm going to click new layout and I'll click home page two. This is my layout definition. And what I've done is I'm going to do everything in Commerce Composer for now and including the CSS. So I'm going to come in and I'm going to do a content recommendation. And I'm going to name this page CSS and background. And I know it begins with books, so it'll automatically find it and we can go ahead and save that and then I'm gonna put a custom product list here uh, that I have developed and what I'm gonna use is a rest service so this is the rest service that I'm gonna be calling it's the product view by category and it returns me a list of products that I wanna show on the home page and what I did is I'm gonna go ahead and use a bit of jQuery here to format this product list by inserting dynamically uh, the HTML within the spot. So let me copy that to the clipboard and then come back here and then we select the slot we want to do it and we're just going to pick a text editor widget and in the text editor widget we'll put product list and we're going to switch over to source mode, get rid of this, and paste that source in there. So you can see I've got some style, and I basically have my script. So I can save it, and now I can preview it. So that's pretty much it. You can see now I have the product list. It looks very different than the Aurora storefront. It has a nice little paper background. Still has the same footer for now. And I'm able to actually, you know, click on these products and then go in edit those product pages. Uh, but for now, uh, that's it for this video. And thank you for watching.